Ryan, full time here at Coach Road. He's advanced into the third round of the Adobe Women's FA Cup after beating AFC Stoneham Ladies 4 2. What are your immediate thoughts after the match? Well, first and foremost, job done. Um, wasn't pleased with how we'd done the job, if I'm being brutally honest. Um, thought we lacked a little bit of intensity without the ball and was a little bit scrappy with the ball. So, but. It's difficult. I'm going to give cre uh, credit to Stoneham. They sat in a low block, made things difficult, frustrated us. We lacked a bit of creativity and ideas of what to do with the ball. So, um, yeah, but at the end of the day, we've, we've got the job done. And like you say, we can't play as well as we did last week, every week. Um, and and we just got to move on and focus on what, what comes next. Looking at the half, so if we begin with the first one, obviously two early goals for you. What was that like on the touchline, seeing those goals going in? Were you almost thinking it's going to be another another big scoreline for yourself? Yeah, to be fair, when we went 2-0 no up, uh, I think it was 13 minutes into the game. Um, I think we settled down and started to play, but as soon as the second one went in, I just felt we fell into bad habits. We were slow in possession and, yeah, it was just... Yeah, it was just frustration is the key word, I think, today. It was just... Um, a bit side to side, slow, laboured, and we tried to reiterate that at half time that if you're against a low block and the patterns we've worked on aren't there, which they weren't, um, that we've got to be a bit more creative and come up with some different ideas and use the ball a bit quicker. And I thought we'd done that in spells, but just not enough. But like you say, job done. So we can't moan. We're in the pot for round three, and that's what cup football's about. You can't always play your best football, but it's just getting the job done and getting your foot in, um, your name in that hat. And finally, obviously, analysing the second half as well, you managed to extend your lead even further and then the last 15 minutes, sort of, everything just went downhill. What was it, you think, that you struggled most with in those last 15 minutes and, and what sort of led to them goals happening? I just think it's mentality. I just think we've turned up, we spoke about it all week and even before the game, John's reiterated the messages around your mentality is going to let you down and your desire to want to win the ball and win first and second balls and Stoneham were better than that, us uh, today. Obviously, we've got better quality and that's got us over the line, but we just lacked a bit of desire and I think once we went four up, um, we just switched off the corner. Again, we talk about desire. We've won the first contact, it's dropped in our box and no one's got the desire to try and stop and keep the clean sheet. And that was the disappointing thing for me today was just, I think, more out of possession. I just think we looked a little bit laboured, but like you say, it, it's difficult. We've all played in games where you, you're expected to dominate and everyone expects a big scoreline, I think, coming into these games. But Stoneham have come here, they've been well drilled and well organised and they've thrown their bodies on the line and it's their cup final. And, and you can see that today, they, they weren't harder without the ball um, but like you say quality got us over the line so yeah like you say we ju we'll just move on from it <laughs> draw a line under it quickly and uh, like you say look, look forward to the draw tomorrow night Drawing that line now how excited are you to be in the third round again for another year of the Women's FA Cup? Yeah well we've done it last this is a third successive year to get in round three um, some big teams come into it like you say um, and we're just excited to see how far we can go in this competition we, <laughs> FA Cup we've always seemed to do well and um, like you say, obviously everyone wants that big draw at home, so let's see what draw brings up tomorrow and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for chatting to me, Ryan. Cheers, Jake.